we've shown you conditions of several units owned by Middletown Property Group, and we've been demanding answers for residents for more than a month. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson has the update tonight from campus. Ball State University is demanding BSU rentals and off-campus property management group to stop using its trademark BSU. This comes after seemingly non-stop complaints from residents about living conditions. It's kind of a statement from the university that they care about their students and they care about they know a lot of the rent people students they rent for are in the community. And Seth Hawkins is a former tenant of BSU rentals and Middletown property group. The property group serves thousands in the area, including Ball State University students. The university says BSU Rentals is a non-licensed business name also being used by the management group. There's black mold. Uh, there's like people walking in on you. I actually experienced people walking in on me uh, as I was sleeping in my room. For more than a month, so WRTV not. has voiced resident concerns. It's embarrassing, honestly. The city and attorney general's office are investigating dozens of complaints. WRTV has obtained a copy of those complaints from the AG's office. The city tells us it's found mice droppings, faulty furnaces, and more. Now, Ball State University is cracking down. It cut ties with the property group, which was overseeing off-campus university-owned housing. They start out as a company that actually was pretty good in terms of, like, a reception. What probably happened, I think they just got a little too large, um, and they just don't have the staff, they don't have the maintenance to be able to take care of it. I don't think it's really out of malice, but when you're having this many problems, you have, to, you have to do something about it. In a statement, Middletown Property Group says Ball State renewed its longstanding management agreement in June, but terminated after, quote, recent media activity. It says it did not receive any reason for the action and is working with new vendors to ensure a smooth transition for residents. Working for you, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. Also, Middletown Property Group tells us Ball State is less than 1% of its business. As far as the name change goes, its legal team is reviewing the university's request. It also says it's working to protect the livelihoods of the more than 100 people employed in Delaware County and to ensure students have the ability to find rental housing in Muncie.